When we started Multiply Labs, the standard you know, idea was, let's use traditional industrial robots. And I was like, no way. There's no way we're gonna use technology without force control, without safety. If, if we are expecting human-like behavior, we should have human-like performance. So that was always very clear to me. We're gonna use collaborative robots. SCARA robots were not enough. You need more degrees of freedom. And obviously the leader in this space is Universal Robots. So we were evaluating a bunch of different robots in that space, got demo units and did a suite of tests for all before determining that UR was clearly the winner. In the cell therapy space, there are a billion little actions that need to be done. We did some repeatability characterizations with different weights, making sure that the precision of where the robot went to every time was matched. Something that was important was that the robot also had some level of force control. That was evaluated with the UR and was a really big reason we ended up going with it. We didn't have to write or create any of our own sort of force mode. It would have taken a couple of months that we just didn't have to spend. We looked a lot at the software integration and how the entire control architecture could integrate with an R stack. So that really helps set UR apart, especially. When we started using uh, UR, I was very, very pleasantly surprised by UR's essentially community. You can program the UR uh, cobots using Python, and there is just a very, very broad user base uh, where people have the model of the robot integrated whenever we needed to use an external function, like a vision library, trajectory. We found that those libraries had already demonstration code with UR, all the way from simulation to imitation learning. What we saw was a lot of like baked in pre-compatibility and that helps us a lot. There was definitely a lot of support from the UR forum where other people have already asked the questions that we were looking for answers to. So it was really quick to get ramped up with it as compared to other cobots where their documentation was more limited or um, just harder to parse through. When we started looking at the UR, I was concerned that the really simple interfaces that I saw at first were all that there was going to be and that it would be pretty limiting for our application. But as I got more familiar with the various controls and communication mechanisms, I saw that there were a lot of different options uh, that were going to be viable for us. Um, and the results are really, really astonishing. We just see levels of efficiency, throughput, and repeatability. It's really superhuman. That's effectively the, the performance of the robotic systems.